the problem with the procreative rationale is that there's an absence of any connection between that objective and what these laws actually do, which is to exclude gay couples and their children from all the benefits of marriage. While marriage obviously has something to do with having kids, the state's argument is that all that matters is the act of procreation itself and its immediate aftermath. What the states surely also care about and what our government surely also cares about is not only how children come into this world, but what happens to them after they get here. The states have offered not a single reason why the children of gay parents should be treated so much worse than the children of straight parents. It certainly isn't their fault that their parents are gay. And just like children who are adopted, there is no possible explanation that passes any test of logic, of common sense, or of simple human decency for why the state should not want these children to have the same benefits as all other children. 